Table topping Paris Saint Germain aim to maintain their perfect start to the Liga and Conferama campaign, and Sadi Yanko gave them a helping hand on the shoulder of Edison Cavani. Minimal contact, but the Uruguayan more than happy to score. He's hit the net in every round so far this season. The second made in Brazil, Brazilian born Italy international Thiago Motta netting after delivery from Neymar and knockdown from Marquinhos. And Neymar unlocked Lever again as Cavani grabbed his second in style. Lever's perfect start ended as PSG's continues apace. Monaco had to respond and did so in stunning fashion. The champions ahead after two minutes thanks to Camille Glick. Monaco have now scored 36 consecutive league matches. RC Paris' record of 40 has stood for 53 years. Marseille were on a 14-match unbeaten run, but that looked seriously under threat when Radamel Falcao matched Cavani in scoring in each round of the league campaign. And the Colombian made sure he was too clear of the Uruguayan in the scoring charts. Lightning fast reactions from Falcao to Adama Dacabi's flick. Seven goals in four games. Ronnie Lopez's trickery then laid on a plate for Diakavi to net his first Monaco goal as the Principality scored four before the break for the first time since 2003. Even Gibriel Sidibe got in on the act when Glick's header cracked the post. Remy Cabela did net a consolation, but almost no reaction from anyone in Marseille colours. And Monaco were given the chance to re-establish their five-goal lead. Jorge fouled by Haruki Sakai. Fabinho saw Monaco win a 16th straight Liga and Conferama game in style. The last for him and Kylian Mbappe? We'll wait and see. Lyon won 6-0 on the last visit to La Bourgeois, but were frustrated by Claudio Ranieri's Nantes. Bertrand Traore came closest for OL before captain Nabil Fakir blast over. 13 goals in the last three league meetings between these sides, all won by Lyon, but instead a repeat of their goalless draw here in December 2015. Bordeaux maintained their unbeaten start of the season against Troyes, whose goalkeeper Mamadou Samassa was in charitable mood to benefit Francois Camano. Girardin looked to be on easy street when Malcolm once again proved his worth to the club, whipping in a ball from the right onto the head of Yunus Sankari, minutes after the restart. Yet Troyes made a game of it shortly after through Stefan Dabion, but Bordeaux held on for all three points. Lille arrived at Angers hoping to end a run of two defeats but fell behind to La Sana Kulapali's fantastic header. Yet Marcelo Bielsa sought Nicolas de Preville rescue a point in quite spectacular fashion. Losk stopping the rot while Angers remain unbeaten. Khan had lost the last seven home league and Conferama matches but snapped that unwanted record with a piece of brilliance from Rodney Rodelin. Nets crashed to a fourth straight defeat to remain pointless. Strasbourg aimed to stay above host Gangon in the table, but despite their best efforts, they fell behind just past the hour mark to Mustafa Diallo's header. And captain Jimmy Briand found himself in the right place at the right time to help Gangong secure a huge three points. Well, both sides had just four league wins to their names in 2017, but Rennes, unbeaten in four at Le Stadium, made a positive start with Fermin Mbele opening the scoring. The Bretters, though, had only won once in 15 on the road and didn't help themselves when Rami Bensebani felled Jimmy Duprat. Swedish international levelling to add to his winner for Toulouse in week two against Montpellier. After the break, Toulouse returned with renewed concentration and captain Christoph Julian's smart knockdown smashed home by Issa Diop, the first of the season for the 20-year-old. Yet disaster struck at the other end. Neither Albert Lafont or Julian took control, and Ismaili Saar poked in to Pascal Dupre's dismay. The first goal for Rennes, 70 million euro teenager, but it wasn't enough for a point. That's because Benjamin Bourgeau clattered Corentin Jean. Morgan Amalfitano saw red for descent, and Durma struck again from 12 yards to take all three points. Benjamin Jeannot hadn't scored in 17 appearances for Lorient last season as they were relegated, but he got off the mark in his home Dijon debut thanks to Daniel Congre's challenge and Wesley Said. 
Montpellier's own new boy also got his first goal in their colours. Giovanni Sio tapping in. Bejeno had the last word as he beat former teammate Benjamin Leconte for Dijon's first win of the season. Gael Kakuta scored Amiens' first ever league on Conferama goal, and it was worth the wait. The former Chelsea youngster, stunning opener, knocking the stuffing out of visitors' Nice. Well, Nice without any of the swagger they showed last season, they were punished again. Musa Konate with his first goal since arriving from Sion. And the 24-year-old Senegalese striker rounded off a memorable day. Amiens' first league on Conferama win in 116-year history. Well, the first goal is draw this season played out, but still 29 goals across week four around for the home sides, as there was not one single away success. Big weekend for Amion and Dijon, who got their first wins of the season. PSG threw down the gauntlet to Monaco with the Principality hit back impressively. Just two goals separating the clubs with the only 100% records remaining. Saint-Étienne remain on the podium despite their defeat in the capital, with rivals Lyon a point behind. Messer rock bottom is the only side left without a point. Then, with only four league wins in 2017, find themselves 19th. Amiens win lifts them off the foot. They're now level with Nice. A fortnight off for the international break, but Ligue 1 Conferama returns in September with top versus bottom as PSG travel to Metz. Monaco face struggling Nice in the Côte d'Azur derby, while Marseille aim to heal wounds at home to Rennes.